Hello and welcome back to episode 7 of The Outer Wilds. I'm Vic and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. So I guess the next thing to do is to play with the ball in the tube, right? And I guess we'll send it over here and see what happens. Okay, so I believe this is the high energy thingy on uh, Ash Twin, and that looks like the station that we're on now. Cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory, gravity field activated. Nine minutes, 26 seconds ago, request to launch probe received from Ash Twin project. Okay. So are all of these things gravity cannons? Maybe they are. One assumes that was the probe launch and then the destruction of the cannon. Or will probe cannon structure compromised during launch, damage to multiple modules detected. Probe tracking module is receiving data from probe. Launch request received, probe launch successful. Okay, so I thought that these guys wrote top to bottom, but they don't. Um, so let's try and remember to read the correct order. Orbital probe get dam damage report. Severe structural stress detected. Assessing damage to modules. Control module intact. No structural damage. Launch module viewport, viewport window fractured. Module exposed to vacuum. Probe tracking module missing. There's another... There's more stuff in there. Show me the rest of the stuff. I see the stuff in there. So is this the probe tracking module over here? One hopes it is. Um, alright. So I think we did just witness the launch of that probe. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Yes, there we go. So now we're back in the main area. So let's go to the two dot area. Yeah, see, shift, not what I wanted. Um, hmm. What do we got? We got stuff in there. I want in there. Can I get in there? Do I need to go EVA to get in there? Maybe I do. Let's check out number three first. Yeah, so that's the one that's missing, definitely. And, uh... I thought I spotted it out here. I guess I didn't. Is this the one that's exposed to vacuum? I would like to go in, please. I'm thinking that one looks pretty intact. How about this one? That's the busted off one.
I wonder if maneuvering would be any easier. No, 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 come on. Okay, let's push the correct buttons, please. I wonder if maneuvering would be any easier if I could feel my inertia. Oh, I can totally get in through there. Yeah. So, does the gravity floor work here? It does. Nice. Oh, is this the other side? Is that what it's showing me? Is the other side? It totally is, yeah. Because this is what I saw when I put it there, put the other one on the other side, I mean. Imagine, Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once anyway. So who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? I would mind, Mallow. I would mind because if because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Which uh, may have been what happened here. Ooh, there's another stone. Give me that. What does this one show me? The control module? Oh, this is the one that I've already been to. Okay. Um, let's put that down real quick. And we'll put this one over here. And now let's see what this one has to say. Mallow, my better 50%, Kasava is sending the, what? We already read this? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we already read that. Okay, so this is the probe tracking module projection stone. And if I put it here, then I should be able to see... This is the probe tracking module. There's another one of those looky-loo statues. Um... The module seems pretty intact, but uh, I don't know. Oh, is it? It's not in Dark Bramble, is it? That seems like it might be inconvenient for me. I'm running low on oxygen. What? What was that? I don't think that was good. I think I should get out of here. All right, back to the ship, please. And uh, hopefully before we run out of jetpack fuel. Nice. And in. Okay, so we gotta go find the probe tracking module. And we should probably... What are we gonna do now, huh? Aside from get stuck in the gravity well. Alright, are we free now? Good. Oh, those lightning bolts were... on the surface of the giant's deep. So... I have reason to believe that there is an outpost in the atmosphere of Giant's Deep. 
Uh, I don't know that I really want to screw with that right just now. I think I would rather... What we got here? That's Dark Bramble. And that is... Nine kilometers. Let's go check out the interloper. And see what that's all about. At some point I'm going to run out of stuff to just, like, go screw around with. But until then... I can continue screwing around. Let's not, uh... Oh, where am I going? I would like to land on the interloper, please. No, up. And down we go. Okay, that was a little dicey, but we made it. I don't know if there's going to be anything to see here, but with a cool name like the Interloper, there ought to be something to do. We got ice. We got crags. It's apparently very slippery. Oh, there is a something to find here. This is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise, I think. If you don't mind waiting here with it, Poke and I can continue to investigate the surface. Alright, well, um, I don't think that you kept the shuttle warm enough, guys. Oh. Well, I suppose I knew it was coming, didn't I? Well, there's just intriguing things to find everywhere, isn't there? I suppose we've got several arrows pointing toward the Dark Bramble at this point. I wonder if I could get to the station fast enough to get to the probe control module. Kaboom, off it goes. No, it's already gone. Yeah, no chance of that. All right. Well, at this point, I'm feeling pretty directionless. I don't really have strong ideas about what I want to be doing. I need to be picking something. Yeah, uh huh? I suppose that's a thing, right? Maybe if I want to get into the shuttle, I should just recall it to the gravity cannon. Is that the shuttle that I already recalled to a gravity cannon? Can we call home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? No, I did that on uh, Brittle whatever, right? I think.
No my city suspended beneath Brittle Hollow. Yeah, there's definitely more to explore there. Uh-huh. There's a whole lot to dig into here. Alright, let's check this one out. Found a Nomai shuttle almost completely encased. <laughs> the other two explored the interloper. So there might be more to find on the comet. Let's go let's go to Amber Twin and see if we can do that thing. Because going to Amber Twin has always ended well for us. But it's all right, because we always just wake up in our cozy little sleeping bag, looking up at the stars. That's the moon. I need to need to quit getting excited about that. That was dicey. I have lost track of my objective. Where is... Where is the sun? How could I lose the sun? Okay, so it looks like that power station is... It's probably just inside the orbit of the twins. And it's moving in the same direction, which shouldn't be surprising. Not that it needs to be moving in the same direction. There's the gravity cannon. So let's get down there. Let's see if we can't get that shuttle to come to us. Bonk. Okay. Well, I'm getting better at not crashing into the sun. That's good, right? I'm pretty sure that's good. Not crashing into the sun. Definitely good. Alright. Do I think I should just jump in there? Of course I do. Why would I not just jump in there? Clean landing. All right. The Sunless City. I do believe I've been there. Shuttle is currently resting at the comet. Activate the gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. Call the shuttle home. And now we have shuttle. Ouch. See? See? Cactus. Don't cactus. Oh, no, no, no. Up. I would like up, please. Up. Thank you. Ooh. Can I steal? I fear our situation may be dire. Pi Poke and I landed here on this comet not long after its arrival in the star system. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange nearby readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Pi and Poke were unable to locate a fissure in the ice of the comet on the comet's sunward side, and they or were able, and they descended to investigate the source of the readings. But Pi and my sister have been gone for a long time now. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface either. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Come back safely, my friends. Alrighty, so there is a fissure on the sunward side. Oh, I launched. And now what am I doing? Am I going into the sun? Um, looking like I'm going into the sun. Okay. Well, that's fine. I learned some stuff. That's what's important in life, right? 
that you learned something. <laughs> Alright, well we don't need to go back to Ember Twin. We can just go straight to the interloper now. You know, on the one hand, this is a very expedient way to explore space because it means that I can take whatever risks I deem appropriate. On the other hand, no one else is benefiting from all of these things that I'm learning because the sun keeps exploding and sometimes it doesn't even explode. All right, interloper. Yeah, do not autopilot right now. You will wind up in the sun. Let's go this way. Is that Bramble? I think that's Bramble. It's Bramble. And now I've lost my lock on the inner room. Alright, autopilot, do your thing. And by do your thing, I do not mean fly me into the sun. I'm perfectly capable of doing that without your help. That's a bright little point. What is that? <laughs> it's got to be a something, right? Is it something? It looks, uh... It looks black holy, is what it looks. Or maybe white holy. Oh, and that's the comet. Alright, so we need to find a fissure on the sunward side. So that we can... Have ourselves a little spacewalk. Bonk. And perhaps find some dead aliens. I landed on the ice, and that's maybe not a good plan, but I'm here, so. Oh, look at that. I even brought some repair materials. Um. No! <laughs> Alright, Fisher? I don't even know her. Oh, uh, those eclipses are, are unsettling. Oh, is this it? Is this my way into the... I, I doubt it. Why would this be it? Doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Also, skating uses a lot of fuel. That's, that's a problem. On the other hand, how many fissures are there likely to be on a comet this small? Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, this is a good idea. And now it's gonna... Oh, we're just gonna... We're just gonna skate to our death. got ghost matter. That's nice. We got lots of ghost matter. I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet's center. And I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we will lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand, but be cautious, both of you. Okay, but, um... 
what about the ghost matter? Thanks for bringing a tree, at least. None of those appear to be showing to the ghost matter, so... Let's start with this one. Ouchies. And, uh... Oh yeah, good. Well, there's definitely something exciting down there. I'm gonna have to go through it. Let's just do it. It was too much. Is there gonna be a way to mitigate ghost matter? Or is, am I just gonna have to deal with this. <gasps> Pachoom. Well, it's cool that I don't know what that is at least now. <laughs> I guess the reasonable assumption is that I, uh, I'm just gonna have to live with ghost matter, because I certainly haven't gotten any hints that it is something that even can be mitigated. It's just something that I've been clued in that it's a hazard. But I want to know what's in this comet. I wonder if there's something interesting to check out where those geysers are. Maybe I ought to go check out the Bramble and see what the deal is there. Maybe it's related to the Ghost Manor? Oh, you know what? I want to go see what this white hole is about. stuff here. I cannot lock on to any stuff. Come on, please. I would just like to approach the unmarked object here. Can't really tell if I'm approaching it or not. I think I am. very slowly. It's not in the same orbit as the interloper, is it? No. Okay. Oh. Oh good, now I can match speed. Nice. Well, let's see what's going on. Well, this is a much larger object than I thought it was. What's going on up here? Is 
it's sort of crystalline, isn't it? Can't really make out much detail. Doesn't look like the sort of thing I'm supposed to be interacting with. A segment of crust? Something going on over there. More crystalline stuff. Oh. Oh. Those are low gravity crystals. Yeah. Alright, so the Nomai were here. Come on. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot to find. Alright, where's the other thing? Other thing? Where are you, please? Uh, you know what, let's go top off our jetpack fuel and maybe bring the ship a little closer while we're at it. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, be careful not to use up all your jetpack fuel. to get a better idea of how much Delta V I have in this thing. And in we go. <coughs> oh, well, look at that. I have once again overrun my time, so that's it for Episode 7. Come back and see me again in Episode 8, and we'll check out the uh, third piece of debris outside of this white hole. Talk to you soon.